Hi, I'm Sakari Lahti. This video will show you how to use the extension Concrete Stairs tool. It's an easy to use component for straight L, U and spiral shaped concrete stair modeling. Let's get started with the features. Start the stair creation by activating the Concrete Stairs tool from the application component catalog. In the contextual toolbar, you will get the different shapes of the stairs. Remember to have the direct modification on when starting the command. First, I will create a straight stair. So I will pick two points to indicate the length of the stair. Next, I will create a L-shaped stair. I will pick the corner points of the stair and I will notice that the alignment is according to the center line. I can change the alignment from the contextual toolbar. Then I will create the U-shaped stair where I pick four points from the model. And finally, I will create the spiral stair where I first pick the center point, then the starting point, and finally the height of the stair. I can also input the numeric values. One more method of creating the stairs is the last option in the context of toolbar called Advanced Stairs. There you basically first create one step. Then you select that component and individual step inside of it. There you will have controls over the height and the side lengths of the steps. And you can add more steps by pressing the Add button. If I make edits to the first step, let's say I will rotate the side edge to 40 five degree angle and also the other side to 45 degrees and then I add steps I can create this sloping stair shape. Edit the stair geometry by selecting the stair component. Again notice that you need to have the direct modification enabled. You will see a basic properties of the stair. You can edit, for example, the length by adjusting its direct modification input points. You can also adjust the height of the stair or the width of the stair. In the context of toolbar, you see options to scale certain parameter. As a default, I'm scaling the last step, which you can see as the longer step length here. If I choose to scale the step heights, it will find an equal step height for each step. If I choose to scale the step lengths, it does the same thing, but by adjusting the step lengths. If I set the option to scale the step height, I can of course type also the step length value. The basic properties of the part are adjust here. For example, I can adjust the basic thickness of the stair and the general properties such as numbering and other material parameters. For turning stairs, you might want to distribute the steps differently depending on the regulations. If I make the stair transparent, you can see the step distribution that I would like to align for this stair trace in the reference drawing. I will activate the stair and here you can see one of the basic commands which is the minimum step distance. It will create a minimum clearance on the inner side of the turn. Then there's an option to define how the step length is calculated along the walk path. So you can define it to be on the turn, either measured by a straight line, meaning, for example, from this point to this point, a straight line, or the distance of the arc. Here I control the walk line distance. So if I want the walk line to be in the middle of the stair, I just track it in the middle of the stair. Here is the control of the center point how the walk line at the turn is determined by its radius. So I can set 
for example 500 millimeter offset from the inner corner. In this case I will still use the value 0. If I'm still not happy with the distribution I can select individual steps and use direct modification to rotate the step according to the desired outcome. You can find the same editing commands for the spirals there, but on top of that you can control the outer edge type to be from circle to square, and also change the direction of the stair. You can also convert the stairs that you created with the first four options to be advanced stair. In the contextual toolbar you have a button convert to advanced stairs and after you convert it you are not able to use the same direct modification features as you would have for typical L stair in this case. But it will give you freedom of editing these individual steps for example adding a rounding to this corner point so making it round and also making round corner chamfer of 40 millimeters as an example. From the classic dialog of the stair component you can add individual components to step locations. There are four different locations start of the stair, the middle steps, the last step and the end of the stair. By uploading a settings defined for each location that I have predefined as a custom component theme type, I can easily create such details to each step. I will first tick only the parameters of the components as I don't want to load also the stair geometry information that has been also saved to the component. Then I will apply those changes to the component and as you can see all the steps and different locations of the stairs gets those subcomponents automatically created. The rules for the component inputs are so that you will have the stair as an input and then two points indicating the width of the detail. So here from left to right first point and second point. In the custom component editor you must define the step height as the name of the property if you want the stair component to input the step height value directly. Same way you would do for the step length. After getting the main geometry correct you may continue detailing the reinforcements, connections and embeds according to your company's standards. I hope you have enjoyed this new development and thank you for watching.